Today on Garden Fork, learn how to boil maple sap to make maple syrup. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, we're gonna show you how to boil down maple sap to make maple syrup. Uh, one of our previous videos, you show, we showed you tapping some of the sugar maple trees in our yard, and we collected all the syrup, and the, now to make, we collected the sap. To make it into syrup, you have to boil off a large amount of the water to concentrate the sugars that are in the sap. If you've seen some of our other videos, some of our friends have uh, big evaporator rigs, or big sugar shacks. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is kind of a home version of that. If you're just collecting on, you know, five or ten of your trees, you can use one of these outdoor uh, deep fryer rigs. And this isn't uh, suggested by the manufacturer. I'm just doing it, okay? So <laughs> use this information at your own risk. We're going to take a big pot, and then this is our sap here. You have to keep this cold while you're storing it. Get so some that's junk the of sap. Right. And we're going to... All right, so we're boiling here. This has taken like 45 minutes to come up to boil. So it's a process that's gonna take a while. And then you see this foamy stuff on the side here? Yeah. You have to scoop that out every once in a while. With what? Uh, with a, something other than your hand. <laughs> so we're coming to the end of the sap season here. These are still dripping. They're not dripping as much as they used to. But you can, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's sap in there from this morning and last night, and ice. Ice. You want to take the ice out because it's the same as boiling. You're getting the, you're reducing the water content of the sap. So take your ice and taste it. But then you want to get rid of it. <laughs> so this one is still dripping. Okay, don't drink that. We spent all day yesterday boiling down a bunch of the sap. Don't drink that. You can definitely see here the change in color. It's starting to have a maple syrup kind of color. So you can see here how it's boiling down. We skim off the foamy stuff there. You can see how the sap is fogging up. Oh. So you see how it's uh, getting darker, it's more concentrated. So pretty soon we're gonna take this off of here and take it on the stove top and do the final boil on there. Puppy enjoying the outdoors. That's very close to syrup. All right, we're in the kitchen now, and we're gonna bring this up to a boil in a big pot. So at our elevation here, water boils at 210 degrees, 210 and a half. We wanna be seven and a half degrees higher than that to be syrup. So you have to watch this now because this can foam over your pot, and you don't want that to happen. It's a mess to clean up. But to see those bubbles, that's kind of a telltale sign that's coming very close. We're at 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 5. That looks right. That looks right. Not bad, huh? Looks nice. It's very cool to make this. It's like... it's still warm, right? It's still warm. And it came out of the yard and it tastes amazing. It tastes like maple syrup. Could probably maybe cooked a little bit more, but we're following directions. <laughs> um, but I mean, look how much we got. It's like. On a whim, huh? Yeah. Just to tap some trees for a week. So we're gonna do this in a much bigger way next year. Uh, we're gonna build an evaporator and we're gonna boil down a bunch of, we're gonna tap a lot more of the trees. So 
This is great. If you really like the Garden Fork Show, would you consider subscribing? Just click on the subscribe button up there and uh, write us a review or write us a comment below here. You can watch our other shows. We've got DIY, cooking and gardening. Just click on the buttons, watch your other shows. And I'm gonna eat this. All right? So make it a great day. I'll see you later. Make pancakes. Oh, we're gonna have pancakes now. Pancakes for dinner. Mm. Yum.